Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Red. So do we want to talk more about the three episodes a week in these three videos Red. and then bump them up the list? So I, I did something uh, when you weren't looking. Because your original move was to be like... We just didn't do it. We, we just didn't tell anybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to record a little thing mm. for the end of the episodes. It just gets like an addendum on the end of the episode. Hey guys, just a heads up. Good. During three weeks. Love it. So that's the thing. Instead of people like looking for like what refreshing the channel, okay. getting on the boards, what's going on? Love it. Yeah. All right. So okay. you remember to record that. <clears throat> yes, I will. Because I will not. Uh, and then uh, before we get into the whiskey, a new ensemble. Oh yeah, so um, for the song? when I'm working in the distillery, yeah, yeah. I have work shirts, yeah. so I don't destroy all of my pristine seven dollar black V neck t shirts. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. So I replace right. my seven dollar V neck no. with like a thirty dollar Dickies no, shirt. I'm, I'm aware of the math. <laughs> yeah, but they're a lot more sturdy. They stand up to the wear and tear. Fair and enough. When I had them, I was like, you know what I've always wanted yeah. since we started the distillery? Yeah. A branded crowded barrel work shirt. Yeah. Not just from the store or tribe, but a work shirt. Yeah, the right? DSP across the pocket. So I bought the Dickies sure. at Walmart. Yeah. And then I took them to a local guy. Yeah. And he... He put the thing? Screen printed them. Cool. Look at that. It's a thing. Right? Why do I hear buzzing? Is that my because phone? Because my phone is That's buzzing. your phone. Okay. So what's the whiskey? So Kavanaugh. this is a, um, a, a Kavanaugh from the Kavanaugh's. Yeah. So this is uh, Sam and Mike Kavanaugh, Magnificent Bastards. Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh. Coming up. Coming up, coming up. Seven my cabin on you magnificent. Bastards. Fight. So, it's the same sounding last? Sure, why not? Because it's Kevin on, Kevin on, just different spelling. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, I do this because this one is pretty easily accessible. Oh, right. I definitely never had this. This is effectively a house Irish for total wine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you know they have their house, their house scotches, uh, yeah, and well, house blends. Sure. So I'm not D sure who makes it. Does it say anywhere on there? Like this is nope. a totally the total wine. Nope, they joint. never do. Oh. Um, but mm -hmm. this is an Irish whiskey. We don't know where from, mm -hmm. and probably Kilbegan. Uh, in my research, mm -hmm. it's from Ireland. Yes, accurate. Points for accuracy. Hangover's got nothing on you. <laughs> well, I'm fine. I, I hear, so uh, the episode's probably out by now. Um, me and oh, a yeah, buddy of mine had to come up this Saturday. Uh, uh, we drank and uh, and smoked like Winston Churchill for a day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, was wonder. graciously allowed to not have to participate. Right. And I opted out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he would smoke up to 10 cigars a day. Yeah. Uh, That's a lot even for me. Yeah. I was trying, because I, I do like a nice cigar once every couple of weeks. I was trying so hard to keep on that pace. Mm. Uh, we started in the morning, because mm -hmm. in bed he would have like a uh, soda water and a scotch, and then yeah. throughout all the way the day and day, be drinking various things. Yeah. Uh, the best I could do was six, six cigars. And then you were like, I'm going to throw I up. physically could not do more than six. Yeah. Going as hard as I could. No, that's pretty high. I usually I'll do four max in an evening. Yeah, this uh, is no, this is spread throughout the day. Like I'm yeah. not a be cigar know. smoker. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm once every couple of weeks I'll have to get well, a then. nice one, and it's one, but six. Um, okay, so I think this is likely Kilbegan Irish whiskey. Okay, um, it is. What makes you say that? Uh, well, just from the research. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say pot still or single malt. Or so it's probably a blend of grain. And malt or grain and pot or mm -hmm. all three. And it's like that cereal malty um, sweetened yeah, grain. Finished in Bordeaux casks. All right, what would the Bordeaux be bringing to this? For, uh, well, so remember, Bordeaux is mostly a blended red yeah. from Bordeaux, France, right? So mm, I am getting like a nice, it's a kind of a creamy vanilla. It's a little bit creamier than I was expecting. It is very creamy. And I'm looking for that red wine note, and all I'm getting is a soft, Berry yeah. sweetness. There is a, a bit of a the berry fruitiness kind of mixed in with that vanilla cream. So the majority of the Bordeaux blends contain Morlot and Cab Sauv. Okay. Right. Cabernet that's how you do it. Cabernet Sauv. Cabernet Sauv. Cabernet Sauv. Cabernet Sauv. Cabernet Sauv. And Merlot. It's such a beautiful language. Yeah. Cabernet Sauv. And Merlot. Merlot. Oh. 
Anyway, so think of that. You're thinking Merlots and cabs that, de- yeah. the, well, Merlots aren't, but the cab fruit and the, you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and actually, there is a very heavy berry fruitness to this. Is. I like the nose. I like the nose. Um, I don't get that thick body that you would get from a pot still. No, um, I think there's something in there, but, but it's it very is, buttery. But it's nice notes. All right, going in. Oh, hey, I like that. Yeah, me too. My like my first reaction mm-hmm. is only, oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's and, budget. And it doesn't, it starts with that's good, and for me, it doesn't get better. No. It maintains, and then some of like the nicer, fruitier, creamier vanillas, those just kind of fade away. And I am left with a little bit of is it a thread of bitterness, a barrel bitterness almost. But it starts out really nice, and it doesn't take a nosedive. 30 it bucks. It plateaus a little bit, and then stays kind of pretty nice. We can get this for 30 bucks. For 30 bucks, though. Yeah. That's a nice that, contender for 30 bucks. That's nice, right? Yeah. Okay, now I'm... I'm gonna get past my, oh, that's good, mm-hmm. and see what else shows up. Mm. That's a true professional. He can taste and walk at the same time. Mm. Ooh, a second sip I like better on the finish. Oh, it got really um, cherry cola. Okay. Um, so I'm getting cherry and that sort of sarsaparilla cola type mm-hmm. weirdness, but then behind that is all a butter shortbread, but not shortbread. Just butter paste, buttered pastry. Yeah, plain buttered croissant. So I didn't, I didn't like the mid palate and the finish, and the first sip and the second sip. It was nicer. It maintained the things that I liked from the beginning, and uh, landed a little bit more. Let's see gracefully. how this stands up to the original Kilbagan. If it is, which we don't know. What's Just the so. remind me? What's the coloring situation in Ireland? Um, it's allowed. But red wine casks. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. What are the similarities, if any? I'm having a hard time finding anything. So right now Could I'm just be... getting a very vanilla cream and ethanol note. Oh, yeah. Huh. But not a lot else. And I do remember not being a huge this is convert to the budget. 40, these are both 80 proof. Yeah, it makes me, we also have a Kobegan single grain over here. And it kind of makes me want to crack that one instead. But. Yeah, the Kobegan, um Kilbegan, comparatively, this is very young and a lot more simple than the Cavanaugh Bordeaux. Yeah. Between the two, man, I'm going the... Oh, no There's question. no question. This is kicking ass mm-hmm. on Kilbegan. Mm. Basic. Uh, easily double as good. Yeah. Okay, looking up Kilbegan Irish Whiskey, $25. Oh, no, no, that's the single grain. Mm-hmm. What's the budget one? Generic is $20. I get... 20 bucks, man. And that's an old bottling. They've changed their bottles. Okay. Uh, so I get there's almost for ten more bucks, double the whiskey. Double the goodness. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a no-brainer for me. Yeah. You can do what you want to do. This I get on the nose in an AB comparison. There's this moment where it's almost like uh, you know what? I was about to say fuel. I'm not saying fuel. I'm saying w, WD forty. Oh yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's so weird. There's a bit of WD-40. That's unique. Yeah. <laughs> not hit that one before. That's not necessarily what I'm looking for in my Irish whiskey. Well, your nose has really reached higher levels post all day drinking. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so, it turns out that's what unlocks your second level right. smelling palate. I have to die before I rise from the ashes. <laughs> yeah. uh, this, oh, first of all, uh, Winston Churchill, he drink like that on the daily. 90 years old. Yeah, Jesus, yeah. What? That just goes to show you how much of whether you live or die is genetics. Yeah. And a random chance of genetics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, somebody was, you know, saying like, well, Betty White too, she was yeah. not known for her healthy choices. And she lived in like 99? Yeah. I'm aiming for 100. My theory is, you'll get there. You think so? Yeah. Just from sheer willpower? Yeah, stubborn. Like, your yeah. stubbornness. I'm like, darn. You ain't taking me. Uh, <laughs> my theory is, if you are so unhealthy, yeah. You go so far in the end of the spectrum that it becomes like a full circle. It's like Keith Richards. It's a full circle type of situation. My favorite meme. You become healthy somehow. Was we all need to look at ourselves, take yeah. an honest look, and think about what kind of world we're going to be leaving Keith Richards. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Pamela. That's a winner. At the price point. Mm-hmm. Have I had nicer Irish? Yes. yes. 
Absolutely, but at a $30 budget house blend, yeah, and that's again, solid. The price is very region to region, but uh, I think it's nice. 21 Dahogi 12 brought me, bought me some, no, it's brought, brought me some double oaked to my favorite German restaurant, and the owner came over and said he'd give me free black forest cake for dessert if I'd pour him a glass. Oh. Very enjoyable, smooth sipping bourbon. Is that a mooch? Yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty moochy movie. Yeah. You bring your own. Well, the mooch extra no, the, food. The uh, restaurant owner mooched and the customer mooch. Yeah, it's a double mooch. A double mooch. Whoa. Uh, that sounds like a nice pairing too. Yes. Uh, a, a double oaked bourbon and black forest. Oh cake. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Here's my question: What yeah. the f are you eating that you can bring your own double oaked bourbon? Well, I mean, it's a German restaurant. Is he in Germany? No, I don't know. I mean, he, speci he specified a German restaurant. Right. If he's in Germany, wouldn't he just say restaurant? A restaurant? Well, <laughs> he could be from out of, you and he's know. trying to help. From overseas in Germany. Right. I don't know. We got German restaurants, you know, 30 minutes from us. They don't want you to put your bottle of booze on the table. They're not typically letting you bring your own. Yeah. All right. Eric, wait. Anybody notice Daniel has his pinky finger out? <laughs> he learned that from me. <laughs> it improves the aerodynamics. Yeah. yeah, we called that the flavor antenna. Uh -huh. We've been doing that early on, Eric Waite. <laughs> now, he is older than me, so maybe he can claim it through his sheer age. Well, and all, honestly, he also comes from the wine background. Yeah, so And the wine people more, have been doing that forever. That's true. He does yeah. have lineage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, generational knowledge. Now, there is, going back to this one last note, there is some type of musty, again, it's grabbing a piece of that vanilla. There's like a creamy vanilla, and there's also a musty vanilla. On the Kavanaugh. I am impressed with that within Bernard, the context yeah. of the price point that it's Yeah, at. me too. All right. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. Make a fight, may a fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with, with us. Hi. Hey. Hey, we're going to do uh, three episodes a week now instead of five. <laughs> yeah, because I got tired. Yeah. Rex, still full of Pip and Vim. Well, I mean, on most days. People are going to be actually thinking that in earnest. Yeah, <laughs> there's no problem. Uh, no, we just need to buy some more time to handle some stuff. And yeah. the vault shooting, it's to the point where we shoot once a week. Once a week. And shoot like five or six in, in a batch. And it really eliminates when we can do it. We have to do it at the end of the day. Right. Well, and also it doesn't give much bandwidth for us to actually Explore. focus on that whiskey as much as we want to. Yeah, if we're going to shoot six whiskeys and yeah. comparisons, that's a heavy lift. If we can instead shoot four, yeah. then that gives us more bandwidth to explore things. And in the meantime, we're going to fill the Tuesdays and Thursdays with a little, a little something, so, a little something, something. Daniel has ideas for uh, idea. basically uh, the Whiskey Vault channel. Maybe check out the shorts that are, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> We'll see what happens. All right, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Sure. Monday, Wednesday, Friday for a bit so we can buy some time and do some stuff and focus more on the whiskeys that you guys generously yeah. send. Here's to fighting, stealing, drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. Fight, may you fight for your lover's what heart. Are you, what are you if doing? If you steal your... Ah, Jesus.